Hey, this is Don the Idea Guy, and welcome to a new episode of the Big Yellow Sticky Podcast, your exclusive commentary track for all the content that I produce and publish daily at BigYellowSticky.com. Today is episode 353, and the title is Dream Solutions. The sticky note reads, Facing the same problems every single day? Dream up a new solution every night. Here's the story behind the sticky. Are you getting that Groundhog Day feeling each time you get to work? It's a new day, but you're encountering the same old problems? In the movie Groundhog Day, Bill Murray kept waking up and reliving the same day of events over and over and over again. He finally decided that since the day kept repeating, he had nothing to lose by trying anything and everything different in the way he responded to those events. If you're feeling like you're encountering the same problems and the same attitudes over and over every single day, perhaps you should follow Mr. Murray's example and start reacting and responding in different ways. Before you lay your head on the pillow tonight, spend 5 to 10 minutes sitting in bed and meditating on one specific problem that you're sure to encounter yet again tomorrow when you walk in the door at your business or at your next client meeting, or the next time you run into that coworker. Then hit the hay and let your dreams begin generating some sleepy time solutions to your waking day problems. It may take a night or two of attempts before your night mind shares a solution with you that can be carried into the waking world, so be sure to keep a pad and pen near your bed so you can scribble down any idea as soon as you wake and the fragments are still fresh in your mind. Take a kernel of one of those dreamscape ideas and turn it into a strategic solution that you can try out at work. The ideas might be a little crazy and out there. If the problem is that all the people in your office are grumpy and growling when you get to work every morning, which will negatively affect their attitude for the entire day, perhaps the solution that you dreamt of is a clown car pulling up at the front door of your business and dozens and dozens of clowns getting out and parading through your office to the cheers and laughter of your teammates. While it might be beyond your budget to hire a troupe of circus performers, not to mention overly disruptive to your workday, you could certainly invest a hundred bucks to have a singing telegram delivered by a clown wearing silly outfit with a big red nose and floppy shoes, bearing a gift of balloons for all of your coworkers. Another variation might be having a person dressed up as a clown stroll through the office at lunchtime, making balloon animals for everybody and putting them on their desk. This might seem a little wacky and out there, but what do you have to lose except one more day of experiencing those same old problems? Try a brand new, albeit slightly insane solution to see if you can shatter that boring series of same old, same old. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Big Yellow Sticky Podcast. If you'd like to receive a free alert every time new content is posted, just go to BigYellowSticky.com and click on the Get Sticky link. Once you confirm your email address, you'll begin receiving a daily message that includes a copy of that day's motivational sticky note the one that's drawn by hand and drawn by me using Sharpie markers on a 3x3 yellow post-it note. Your email will also include a link to the exclusive commentary track that I've been recording. I record one of these episodes every single day to match up with that day's individual sticky note. These episodes allow me to dive in a little deeper on some of the ideas and concepts that I'm scribbling on the stickies, because those 3x3 yellow pieces of paper Don't give me a whole lot of space to expand on a concept, and that's what the podcast is for, to give me a chance to give you the story behind the sticky, like the one you heard in today's episode. I'll be back again tomorrow with a new sticky and a new story, and I hope you'll stick around to hear it.